Hey, I'm Jiso, and today I'm going to walk you through the process of beating every single time trial or speedrun goal with the newly released Shifu Fall update. So, you just want to follow my lead. I think at the squad, you want to beat 3 minutes and 15 seconds. So, time is very important. So, whenever, if you have a stride to get rid of enemies faster, you have to use it. It doesn't have to be clean, but it does need to be fast. So, we're going to use shortcuts, but just not the usual one, this one. You want to climb here, and there's something people don't know when it comes to the squads, but you can just skip everybody. You don't have to fight any of those guys. If you do, you're going to waste time. So just keep running. Ignore everybody in... <laughs> like, you just, you don't, you just don't care. Come here and do what you have to do. I actually like getting a bottle so that I can get that guy before he actually throws a bottle. Then this guy can sometimes, he, sometimes he can waste some, your, your time just like that. So, yeah. Now, I, I feel like the, one of the trickiest part is that hallway. Because that hallway, oh my god, that hallway is so disgusting sometimes. So, I actually prefer getting rid of this girl first because she tends to grab the, the weapon, the pipe, and then she can be annoying. My stride is actually to use a directional throw and get to the, the other side. For some reason, when I was doing that, the guy, the, the other guys didn't spawn, and that was weird. But they will spawn eventually, but again, whatever you have to do to get rid of them faster, do it. What are those, this is one of those areas where I think people may waste time, because it's just, um, it's just way too many enemies and... If you don't use the directional throw, then you're in trouble because you're going to waste time. But it's not about surviving, it's about making it out of here as fast as possible. So, if you do that successfully, GG. I think he should be dead. Nice. So, we just keep on moving. Now, when it comes to the next part, I actually advise just running and just... <laughs> actually, no. You want to perform the takedown on this guy over here. Wait. Go right. Perform a takedown on this guy, very important, and just and then just keep moving. Go all the way. You want to also remove, I mean, just tackle this guy. Take the pipe, make make him in the face, and just take, take the pipe and just keep moving. I mean, what am I doing? Move. Oh my god, what am I fighting? Why am I fighting there? I should not be fighting there. You should not be fighting there. See, I realized that and I just kept, I just kept moving. You want to come here and you want everybody to come here next to the door you don't want to chase after if you actually chase after them you're going to waste time and that's not what you want to be doing you want them all gathered at one, in one in one place so that you can just deal with them all together and also you next to the door so you don't need to run afterwards but yeah good luck <laughs> it's not tricky come on it's not tricky you, you get this nice you open the door ignore the shrine come come out go up there if you can throw the brake Push her over, push the next guy over, and then the next girl over, then jump over, come on, jump over, <laughs> thank you, and then you did it, GG, that's how it's done. Now on to the club. When it comes to the club, this one actually took me, I think, I think five tries because I kept messing up and waste time but just do again just do whatever you have to do and it's very i forgot to mention that you want to avoid performing takedowns because takedowns they take a lot of time so if you want to perform it it's only because you have to but if you should oh my god why is he waste like why sometimes the enemies i swear to god anyway here follow my lead you want to walk slowly here and then push that luggage if you successfully perform a takedown on this guy immediately you actually you can save like 10 seconds which is huge grab the bat if you can and just keep moving the dance floor is probably the part where you're going to waste a lot of time because enemies are so far they can just throw bottles and they can just hide in corners they're just so toxic man so again do what you want i actually tried to go next to the dance floor to push them over but it wasn't working because again I was reminded that Shifu doesn't have a proper targeting system, so I kept just falling off and that was getting me pissed. So instead of just trying to make it work, I just tried to just go ham and go, you know, fist blazing, just trying to showcase my my kung fu. But do you should know that you have tools, you can just stay, you know, next to a, to a ledge and try to push them over. It's just, I just don't, 
you know, this game can be, you know, so, so stupid sometimes, but it's fine, right? It's fine. D with the flash kick, crouch punch in her crotch, as always, you know, we love those. Make picking, ice strike, da 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 Pick up the battle, we throw it, instant takedown. Hey, oh my god, he should be performing a takedown where he runs and then does that, you know, that knee attack, but he, he, for some reason, he didn't. So we're going to slap that girl because she wasn't watching and again, go over the couches just like that. Then you go here, you throw the bottle and then you throw him over. Just keep on doing what you have to do. You want them all gathered in one place. That way you don't have to go look for them. And then that's where you actually showcase your pac -Man. It's up to you. For however you want to do it, it's up to you. But you do need to make it fast. Oh my god, that was clutch. <laughs> that make make actually was clutch. Jesus Christ. I think that's everybody. Nope. 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 Now it's everybody. Let's go. Pick up the battle if you want to. Very important that you actually throw that guy over there. Over. Just like this. If you're lucky, you can actually position yourself so that you can throw all of them. But you know what? Sometimes this game, man, this game can just, just doesn't care about you. Nice. Okay, this guy can be tricky. Now, listen, you want to go over, you're going to want to break those and then pick up the, the thingy, the stick, and then beat that guy. Use the stick, it's, the, it's your best friend. He's going to eventually come back up. It's the best thing you can do against the juggernauts to deal with them faster. You can stagger them, they cannot do anything about them. And that's how you do it. You open the door and you can already you can already feel it. You can tell it was a good run. He wasn't he wasn't pretty, but hey, open the door. Hey, what do you see? That's you did it. Right. There we go. Now on to the museum. Welcome to the museum. My favorite level in the game. Mostly because it's just so creative. You can feel like the devs invested their like their own self in this level. Not like uh, the other levels suck. Anyway, why am I not stabbing the guy? Why? I may have had a plan. So, but, because I, can't, I don't understand why I wouldn't stab the guy. Anyway, don't take the stairs. You want to climb here. Just going to save. Like I don't think you save much, but you know, speedrunners have to speedrun. So, <laughs> just don't take the stairs. Oh, I think I actually stabbed the guy here, right? Oh, Jisoo, you're so smart. Oh, he's so smart. Throw him over? Why? Why didn't you? Oh my god. So much for being smart, eh? <laughs> I wasted like three seconds there. So, open this door. If you're lucky, sometimes you can perform an instant takedown if you throw that knife properly. I didn't. I think I he actually turned turn toward me but if you okay you know what never mind he got thrown over so that's it pick up a knife. it's very important that you actually get a knife here get the knife and we just keep going up i actually very like the museum man did i say that already if i did good if i didn't not good but i really love this level so there's going to be a cow here and because we don't like cows we just want to poke her in the eye like pick and then you know, stab her in her <laughs> in her boobs. And she's down. We're going to pick up the staff. It's actually a very useful staff, but shame we won't we won't get to use it much because those guys are going to be here waiting for us. And if you if you can just stay very close to those ledge those ledges and yes, just like that, throw them over. Especially this guy, this guy can be a pain in the ass. Everybody else, not so much. But this guy he's very tanky and annoying. Just position yourself so that you can throw them, but because you cannot, like time is very sensitive, you don't have the time to be, to do that every single time. So just keep moving and here it is very tricky. This is probably why you may fail and understandably, yeah, it, it is a tricky room with the true juggernaut. So get rid of this girl fast, don't perform a takedown on her, otherwise that other guy can come and surprise you. And here, well, it's up to you. What you do is up to you. How you decide to go, again, you know, again, you do you. 
I think ideally maybe having a knife is just so tricky man. Like sometimes you can perform a instant takedown on one juggernaut with a knife, but if you time it wrong, you may just end up wasting way too much time. Which is why I don't actually recommend it, but if you can land it, you should always look into trying to stab one juggernaut and just dealing with the rest. Because those guys are just easy. The other you know, the other guys are easy, it's just about the juggernauts. So do what you need to do. Throw them into each other again, it just works like a charm. Boom boom. And now we pick up a knife. Very important that you pick up a knife. Oh my god, there's no knives. Oh, okay, wait, yes. Oh my god, that was that was clutch. That was very clutch. Now run, open the door, skip the cutscene, go there and stab that guy. And you got it. Congratulations. Three down, two more to go. The tower is probably the most hated level in the game, mostly because of those two rooms. We all know the rooms, right? We all do. So go straight to the elevator. We don't have to fight anybody and we're already halfway there. <laughs> I just love the I just love the tower, man. So there is a hidden shortcut in the game. If you played it enough, you already know what I'm talking about. If you don't, just go straight and jump. Bam, there you go. <laughs> that, that's how you yes, that's how you do it. You have to do it because if you don't, there is no way you're going to make it. You have to break your legs. So, upon successfully breaking your legs, you just keep just keep moving. There's going to be a flash kick and if you have crouch punch, you can interrupt her. That's the best way to deal with those cows. But if you don't have crouch punch, you can also use duck strike. How do I still remember the name of the... You know what? It's like Shifu is like riding a bicycle. Once you know how to ride a bicycle, there's no way you're going to ever forget. That's, I feel that's... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's such a shame, man. Come interrupt her, man. Like She's just wasting time. Mink, mink. Ah, uh, oh my god! Like this is why you want to use um, Coach Man because those those girls can just waste your time. Don't forget that you cannot interrupt with shrines because it's just going to take away too much time. Here, go right again. I believe I can. F nah, nah, nah. Just break your legs. You don't believe anything. Come on, come back up. And now you probably just you are already you're already there. She's going to start talking and because you don't want to listen to her, just go grab a knife, slowly walk up to her, prepare to take off, and then boom, she's dead. Open the door. Come on. That's just so slow. Like, open it faster, dude. You're almost there. Just come here and jump one last time to break your legs. That's how you do it. You broke your legs three times and that's how you do it. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-huh, that's how it's done. And you probably will see the, the achievement right now. Um, a neck breaking, neck breaking speed. I think that's that's the thing, right? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Now to the sanctuary. Now when it comes to the sanctuary, it is, it is a bit different because we need to take down three juggernauts. And chances are, some people may not know that there is a third juggernaut because it's so easy to miss him depending on how you play the game. And I, I'm pretty sure some people never even saw that juggernaut. So, get rid of this guy. He's um, a distraction. Nothing for the likes of you. Like, come on, we just beat in like four levels and you're going to struggle on this guy. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. So, perform a takedown on either one of those two. The girl, the guy, doesn't matter. I think the only issue here can be the disciple because she's just, you know, she doesn't stagger and well you know she's attacking you while other people are attacking you which is just great right that's great <laughs> who doesn't like super armor nice tag tag dodge last hit push her pump strike tracing trip kick always your godly you know what it's like riding a bicycle man you can there are things you can never forget oh she tried but you know what try harder do better that camera man <laughs> there are things you can never miss in this game the camera and um, I wait I think you, you you still can't target people who are using a focus attack which is still sad but either way 
you beat the first chef, the first juggernaut, grab this machete. We're going to call it a knife because, you know, pick up the knife and follow my lead. Go straight. We're going to open this door and then the next one. We're going to head upstairs. That's the second juggernaut. Get rid of him. Push him. Da, da, da. Da, da. He's going to try to retaliate, trying to be fancy, but you know what? Ooh, that take down was kind of sexy. I, I, I gotta say, that, that, that take down was kind of nice. Not gonna lie, that was... Uh, mm. So now we're going to head back, right before the restaurant, and then go straight. And that's where you find the last juggernaut. He's looking... Mm, he, oh, he, he... I... 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 And just like that, you beat every single time trial or whatever goal in the game. Thank you guys for watching. Don't for, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Like I was talking, like my life was on the line here. So again, thanks, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.